Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Harris from the 1AM Studios blog. Today I'm going to show off a project I've been building recently. It's a Slack client for a 1980s Commodore 64. As we jump into the video here, my C64 app is already running and it's waiting for data. The C64 is connected to a Raspberry Pi running a little node app. And so what we're seeing now is the channel data being streamed to the Commodore 64 from the serial connection from the Raspberry Pi. And now I can see all my channels. I can go ahead and I can scroll the list up and down. I can browse channels. Each time I hit enter on a channel, the Commodore sends a message over the serial port to the Pi requesting the the particular channel ID and then the Pi will send the most recent uh, four or five messages to the Commodore so you have something in the screen already. Um, and now for this one I've got my laptop set up next to the Commodore. Um, the idea here is to prove that it really is actually talking to the real Slack servers. This thing is the real deal, it, it really does work, it's not just uh, vaporware. So here I'm typing in a message on the Commodore itself, and i uh, switch to the laptop, and immediately I can see the message popped up there on my laptop. And then I can send a message back from the laptop, which will get um, received by the Raspberry Pi, which is listening to Slack, and then sent across the serial port to the Commodore. And this all happens really quick, you can see the message is already there. Um, and now I'm going to show off an example of using uh, slash commands from the Commodore. So interestingly, the, the slash commands API is not documented anywhere. I, I couldn't find, maybe I missed it, but I couldn't find anywhere that describes how to use the slash commands from your own application. Uh, in the end, I used the Chrome dev tool, tools to spy on what the, the official web client was doing. And then I just implemented the same um, HTTP calls for my app. So I've installed a bot called uh, dot .com. Real simple little thing, it um, goes off and searches domain name availability. So I'm going to use slash dot .com and type in 1amstudios.com. And what I'm expecting that to do is um, send the slash command to Slack, and then Slack will respond with some data. And there we go, we see the, the message come back. If we look at the laptop, we can see that these messages really are being shown on the real Slack service. So I can, I can use Slack with all its features from the Commodore. Now this is just the output from the Node app running on the Raspberry Pi. Um, it's nothing too interesting, but it does kind of show the, the raw RPC messages that are going backwards and forwards. Uh, so here I'm just going to show the hardware setup a little bit quickly. Uh, the thing that's plugged into the Pi is a USB serial converter, and in the back there on the Commodore is a um, the Commodore user port connection. So that's a wrap. Uh, Commodore 64 Slack client. Um, really fun project. Come check me out on 1amstudios.com. Thanks for watching.